The five types of overthinking and how to cure each one. One, mental chatter. You cannot tell yourself to not think about something. The more you try, the more thoughts will enter. Change the channel. Keeping yourself busy with an activity is the best way to change the channel. Do a workout, engage in a stimulating conversation with a friend or read a book. Whenever you notice thoughts coming into your mind that you don't want, simply distract yourself by doing something that can take the place of those thoughts. 2. Overreading into things. I bet this has happened to you more than once. A minor issue arises and your imagination goes into overdrive, imagining all of the disasters that may ensue. It feels like the world is ending and everything that can go wrong will go wrong. And then the disastrous moment arrives. And in a split second, you realize that all the worrying and imagining wasn't worth it because it turns out you were wrong or it wasn't a disaster, merely just a minor inconvenience. Challenge your thoughts. Fact, check yourself. Acknowledge that your thoughts may be exaggeratedly negative. Replace what if with we'll see. Three, mind reading. This is when you're constantly trying to predict what other people are thinking about you. Have you ever been outside in a public place and some people near you start laughing and you immediately wonder what you did to make them laugh? But then it turns out, their laughing had nothing to do with you. This is a classic example of trying to mind read people. You expect the worst, therefore you seek it out. Focus on what matters. When you concentrate on what's important, you think less about your individual role and more about the bigger picture. Remember, most people aren't paying attention. They spend more time thinking about themselves than thinking about others. 4. Rumination about the past. This can involve incessantly dwelling on a mistake you made in the past, of continuously replaying a time you were hurt over and over again in your mind. Notice when you're thinking too much. Awareness is the first step in putting an end to overthinking. When you notice yourself replaying events in your mind over and over or worrying about things you can't control, Acknowledge that your thoughts aren't productive. Ask yourself this question. Can I do something about it? If the answer is yes, then go do it. If the answer is no, then let it go. 5. Worrying about the future. This is where you continuously stress out and panic that something bad might happen. Practice mindfulness. When you're living in the present moment, it's impossible to dwell on the past or worry about the future. The past cannot be changed. The future isn't here yet, so all we have is now. You can change your future by focusing on the now, but you aren't going to get anything done if you try to live in the future because it isn't even here yet and it is not actually guaranteed. Make a commitment to becoming more aware of the present moment. Mindfulness, like any other skill, requires practice, but it can reduce overthinking over time.